we'll go ahead and jump in. Uh, we want to keep it short and sweet today, but we are going to go over uh, how to navigate the holidays from a fitness, from an accountability, from a nutrition standpoint. Most of the time, I mean, I, I don't know where the statistic is, but I've heard it before that most people gain their 10 pounds that they increase every single year between November, right? November and Jan 1, right? So in that time, we've got Thanksgiving, right? You've got maybe even Halloween a little bit earlier. You've got Christmas. You've got multiple variations of things going on at the same time. And then you have New Year's Eve, right? So we want to make sure that you don't gain 10 to 15 pounds over the holidays unless you want to. And if you want to, well, this isn't the video for you. So <laughs> let's first talk about why you think this is important for us to talk about today, uh, Brett, and then we'll kind of rock from there. Yeah. I mean, I think it's important just because everyone that I've talked to always struggles. I mean, it's just like to the oh. statistic that you just said, um, everyone always struggles with the holidays. They can always be really, really tricky. I mean, even for me, I mean, I've been doing this for 12, 13 years. Every time Christmas comes around, it's real tough for me to not grab my 18th plate of food and, uh, and just chow down. So, um, I thought it'd be a good idea go ahead and give some people some tips on how, you know, we kind of handle it for ourselves and for our clients on, on just navigating through the holidays and staying to goal or staying on goal. Yeah. And so what do you think the problem here is? Obviously it's navigating the holidays, but why do you think people will have such a hard time navigating them? Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it can be a lot of things, you know, you got Need, uh, it's a lot of people might have a lack of accountability there. So like, if you're just doing it on your own, you don't have a support system behind you. And yeah. I go to the, I go to the family uh, events and stuff. And a lot of people are like, you know, just, you know, just, it's fine. It's it, just live a little and all this. And and yeah, definitely. I want you to enjoy your holiday, but I mean, if you have a goal that you're trying to hit, um, we still need to be mindful. Right. So um, I think a lot of times, you know, accountability could be a big part of that. Um lack of uh, understanding when it comes to nutrition that like, you know, you'll see it all the time where you go to a Christmas party, you go to Friendsgiving or Thanksgiving or whatever, and you eat a ton of food. And then you're like, well, I fell off the wagon. Why should I even keep trying? And when you have someone, that, when it, and it, I mean, it kind of comes back to that accountability piece, but when you have someone there to remind you, like, yeah, you fell off the tracks. You're human. That happens. We just got to get back on the tracks tomorrow. One day of eating, one day of bad eating isn't going to counteract all the progress that you made already. So it could be, you know, something to do there. Um, and just understanding that like the whole nutrition side of things is like, as long as we're on top of our, our protein, we're still staying mindful. We're, we're eating, you know, the foods that we know to eat, um, while still maintaining, like try, trying to have some, a good time when you're with your family and stuff. And then, um, and then of course, like I'm kind of just going through the three pillars of, of what we kind of push is, uh, you know, the exercise, nutrition and accountability. So exercise as well. I mean, like as long as you're getting your movement in, getting your steps in, staying on top of your nutrition, understanding that and being mindful while you're enjoying your holiday and then having a support system behind you along the way. I mean, I think those are the, the main pieces there to, to help you along. Yeah, I think. I think that this can be broken down into to maybe two places, right? Overall, first and foremost is, do you want to be adherent to the path to stay on goal during the holidays or not? Mm, I think that's the yeah. first question. That's like, great. Yeah. If the answer is no, well then turn this off and, and go about your way and no sure. one's going to judge you, right? It, it's your life, right? If you want to stay on track, right? And let's say you're in a position where you're trying to lose body fat, you're trying to add muscle, you're trying to... Uh, improve your sleep, improve all the things that bring quality of life up um, to an extent. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that getting stage lean is going to bring you better mental health or better sleep or better hormones or what have you. There's, there's definitely a threshold, but let's just say overall, right. Uh, comorbidities, you want to get rid of them. Um, higher risk for cardiovascular disease. You want to get rid of it, right? The, uh, an elevated A1C, you want to get rid of it. Elevated cholesterol, you want to get rid of it. Okay. Let's say that that's the case. I'm not saying that it needs to be, but let's say it is. I think that, you know, there's a, there's a saying that a lot of people use and it's everything in moderation, including moderation itself, right? One mm -hmm. meal absolutely will not wreck you forever, but, but having one meal that you just decide to go bonkers on oftentimes leads to two and three mm -hmm. and four and five and six. And so when you let in a little bit, 
you got to you got to know where that line in the sand is for you, right? You got to know what your final price is when you're trying to go buy a car before you set foot on the lot. If you don't, you're going to end up spending more, paying more for <laughs> what you wanted or paying for something the same price that you wanted for something else for a completely different thing, right? You yeah. have to know where your limits are. And so in my mind, if you're trying to be adherent while you were going through the holidays, you've got to look at, um, you know, what are you willing to give up for that, right? Because you're not going to be able to eat the pecan pie and the apple pie and eat all the ice cream and eat all the cookies and have stuffing before you eat your protein, right? You're not going to be able to do that and then have a milkshake after, you know, go to, uh, to Rita's and get gelato or go, go and get Ben and Jerry's or Jenny's. Like you're not going to be able to do that and stay on the path, right? Yeah. It's not going to happen. Now, yeah. one day, if you could do it in isolation in a vacuum, sick, bro. You've got more discipline than I do because my ass isn't doing that, right? Absolutely not. If I start ripping and running on some gummy bears or some some ice cream, we're running. Dude, that yeah. thing's going to go away, okay? Amen. So I think that it comes down to you know what do you want to do? I think as far as the way that we coach nutrition in social settings, right? When you're eating out, when you're traveling, what have you, I think the same thing applies here, right? I would go protein first. Right. I would go leafy and green veggies second. I would go some sort of um carb, hopefully from veggies, maybe even starchy if if, if not, right? Third. And then I would go fats fourth. I mean, again, you're you're talking about being in a in a time where there's tons of alcohol everywhere, there's tons of sugary drinks, right? And most things that have high sugar are also having high fat at these <laughs> get togethers, right? You don't know what anything's cooked in. A lot of it is smorgasbord style, right? People and family are bringing different dishes. You don't know what your sister cooks in, you know? Mm. She might not cook, might not, might not cook in uh, coconut oil. Might, might cook in something else that you don't want to be eating, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe cooking in coconut oil and you don't want that. You got to be mindful. That there's a lot of what we'll call hidden calories around, but mm -hmm. I don't think that it's it's serious enough for you to stop participating in festivities. I don't yeah. think it's serious enough for you to you know, rip out all of the joy in your life. I think it is serious enough for you to just decide where your line is. And let's not judge your family for their lines being different than yours. I know tomorrow, and I know if my family is watching that, or I know on Thursday, and I know if my family is watching this, I'm going to get ripped for it. But uh, their lines on Thursday is going to, they're going to be completely different than mine. Mm -hmm. Right. What I'm willing to eat and drink for the whole day is going to be different than what they are. Right. And that is fine. That is totally okay. It's your decision. You're a grown ass adult. You are not, unless you're under 18, or you have a cognitive disability, or you're developmentally disabled, or there's someone caretaking for you, you're responsible for you, right? And you got to figure that out for yourself. I don't think it means that you have to eat no starchy carbs, no fat, no sugar if you want it, right? One day will not ruin you. But letting go of perfection, allowing yourself to be present with your people. And maybe just control. I mean, the way that I'm going to do it is just control my portion size. Am I going to mm -hmm. not eat the pie or not eat the cake or the key lime pie or the chocolate mousse? That <laughs> a uh, no, I'm going to still eat it, but I'm just going to control the quantities. I'm not going to eat seven of them, right? If they're this big, right. I'm going to eat a half of one or three quarters of one or one and be done. Yeah. You know, anything you got to add to that? Well, I mean, it just all goes back to what we've said before on this show. Is just you know, it's it's all it's all kind of on that foundation of like how important is your goal and mm -hmm. how badly do you want to hit it? And uh, I love that you said that stop striving for perfection. Like you don't have to be perfect. That's fine. If you fall off the tracks, if you didn't track your food on Thursday, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um, But it's just what, what is that goal important to you? And is it important enough for you to, you know, take these steps that you're talking about? So, I mean, yeah, it's it's as simple as that. And 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 I like that you said that um, you know, if, if you know, if if your goal is uh isn't to lose weight, uh and and you know, you don't really care about all that stuff, then this isn't really the place for you anyway. So it's all good. Yeah, and I think that there's some people that'll listen to this that are typically, you know, higher fiber, higher greens on the plate, higher rainbow uh side of the plate, right? So more <laughs> more essential amino acids from food sources, right? Getting everything that you need in that. And sometimes those people on holidays go bonkers and that's okay too. You get to decide, right? At the end of the day, you just need to make a decision for what you want and um, we can help you, right? Either of us will DM you back and, and give recommendations on if you have specific questions about anything on uh, on any holidays, whether you're watching this pre-Thanksgiving or post-Thanksgiving, it doesn't really matter. We'll be happy to give you those. We also have a snack guide that we can pop your way 
right? If you're wondering, hey, what do we recommend? What do we not necessarily recommend, but it's not off limits? I mean, we're happy to help there. Um, I think that you just got to decide where the line is. And that's kind of where I think we should wrap up. You got anything else you want to add? Yeah, I mean... That's, that's, that's basically what it is. And, and again, like you don't have to be perfect. You also, you like, you don't have to be miserable at Thanksgiving. It's like, it's just like you said, you got to make a decision. Um, and if your decision is to just feel terrible and watch everyone eat and you're just hungry and you're waiting to get home so that you can get your chicken, rice and broccoli, then, you know, you got to live with that, but, um, you don't necessarily have to do that. So. Yeah. You get to make the rules for yourself. You're an adult. Uh, and you get to accept the consequences on either side. Mm -hmm. And let's be honest, right? Last thing here. If you go bonkers for one day, so long as you cut it off at the end of the day, your life's not going to change materially. I can promise you that. <laughs> one yeah. day is not going to ruin your life. Just like, oh, you skipped a workout because you're a little little too tired, a little too sore, you didn't sleep well last night. Not going to kill you. Don't make a habit of it, but not going to kill you. Yep, 100%. So, Hope y'all have a wonderful Thursday. If you're watching this in Facebook group, Roger Dodger. If you're watching this on the replay, uh, comment hashtag replay below. Um, and uh, as always, we hope y'all uh, y'all improve health. You get to your goals with or without us. And uh, we are here if you need anything. And we'll holler at you later. Later. Peace. Peace.